with Tina. Here it is, the Bon Me Dog. Check it out. Oh, a lot of great sandwiches here in Auburn. I'm at Eric's Home Plate. This is the best sandwich shop in Auburn by far. Eric's Home Plate is owned and operated by Eric Erickson, who calls this spot on Lincoln Way an upscale sandwich shop. Uh, I just create my own sandwiches. I've been doing this for 30 plus years. I work many restaurants, and uh, I do like doing sandwiches the most. I mean, it's, you can be most creative with it. Eric spent many years working in top restaurants, including Latitudes in Auburn years ago. There he was a sous chef. Customers remember him, says daughter Jamie. They always love it because he, has a, he used to have an old restaurant, and sometimes the old customers come back, and we have regulars that come in, and they always get the same thing, and everyone loves it. I've never heard a bad comment. These days, Eric prefers working for himself. Okay, so this is our Cuban aioli. It's a mayonnaise, sriracha, lime juice, sal uh, shallots, mint, and we use that as our base for our spread. That's for the most popular sandwich called the Pop Fly, panini style with turkey and ham. Customer Charles Hendricks insists on his favorite. It's got to be the shortstop. The homemade chicken salad is delicious. Uh, it's probably what I get every time. Auburn residents may remember this as a hot dog spot. Don't worry, Eric comes up with specials. Hot dog special, like this week we're running the Bon Me, and it's pickled daikon, carrots, jalapenos. Uh, use a spicy aioli. Bon Me hot dog is phenomenal. A $5 deal is offered to Placer High Hillman students. We have a $5 lunch special that's hot dog with just ketchup and mustard with a water bottle, a side of chips, and a cookie. Or you can choose a turkey or ham sandwich. Eric's Home Plate in Auburn is open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, and Fridays until 9 or when the game is finally over. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you very much there, Tina. You got an idea for Dishing with Tina? Email us, gooddaytina at kmaxtv.com.